Hello, my name is Jody Limner. I am a faculty member at Genesee Community College, and this presentation will give an overview of the designated education unit partnership between GCC and ECMC. Throughout this presentation, I'll refer to Genesee Community College as GCC and to the designated education unit as DEU. After viewing this presentation, the mission and vision of GCC's nursing program should be clear. You should be able to differentiate the roles of the individuals who participate in the DEU. You should have a broad overview of the, the GCC course information. By briefly comparing the traditional model to the DEU model of clinical instruction, you should recognize the benefits of having the DEU model. And you should also be able to explain the expectation of the DEU nurse as well as the GCC clinical faculty member when it comes to evaluating student performance. The nursing program at GCC is an associate's degree program. We have students that enter the program as recent high school graduates. Those students may have very limited or no clinical experience when they enter the program. But then we also have students that may be coming into the program as LPNs with many years of clinical experience. But either way, the expectation is that every student that graduates from GCC's program will be recognized as registered professional nurses who are able to provide culturally competent care. The program utilizes cues and competencies when teaching our students. So our students are taught to maintain a safe practice environment. And within that safe practice environment, they provide patient-centered care while collaborating with other healthcare providers. We embed healthcare informatics throughout our program through the use of technology systems. And we want our students to be lifelong learners who will become leaders within the profession. The role of GCC's clinical faculty member is to ensure that students are adequately prepared for the clinical setting and ensuring that the students understand what their clinical learning objectives are. The clinical faculty member is also there to be available to students and DEU staff for questions and observations. The clinical faculty member is ultimately responsible for documenting students' evaluations. This is done through observation of student performance in clinical, by obtaining feedback from DEU staff, by evaluating students' participation in post-conference, and by grading students' assignments. Through discussions in post-conference, the faculty member will assist students to make connections between what they learned in the classroom and what they learned in the clinical setting. The role of the DEU nurse is to work with one to two students. The DEU nurse will collaborate with the clinical faculty member to identify students' learning needs as well as students' limitations. They will begin by allowing the student to observe their nursing practice, and then they will allow the student to start getting some hands-on experience. And once they feel confident in the student's ability to perform a, a task, they will allow that student to perform that independently. They are ultimately a role model. They're a mentor, mentor to that student or students, which is essential in the development of students' critical thinking skills. The expectation of the GCC student is that they come to clinical prepared, that they are engaged and ready to learn, and that they act professionally. So we expect that they come to clinical on time in the appropriate attire, that they're communicating with their assigned DEU nurse and their clinical faculty member, that they're maintaining safe practice at all times, and that they complete all of their assign assignments satisfactorily. So when we look at the DEU model compared to the traditional model, you can really start to see the benefits of the DEU model. You know, in that DEU model, you have a good partnership that's established between the clinical faculty and the DEU staff. The students and the staff work very well together, and that benefits the patients on the unit. There's been high satisfaction reported from our students that come out of the DEU because they feel like the nurses really wanted them on the unit and they valued them as somebody that was working with patients on the unit. The attitudes in the traditional model vary and students can become very frustrated in the traditional model because they're waiting for one clinical faculty member to observe them performing a skill. So there's a lot of delay and sometimes the students aren't able to do or see as much when they have to wait on one clinical faculty member as compared to in the DEU where the students are busy because they're really observing and following around that DEU nurse. And one of the best um, things that I heard from students was that they went, they, they say 
oh, I understand what it is to be a nurse because I understand what it is to take report and to have to see four or five, six patients throughout the day, depending on what type of unit they're on. They understand how to prioritize. They understand how to talk to a provider because they've observed or participated in those activities with their DEU nurse. So it's valuable for the DEU staff to understand GCC's course information. So in this particular course, our students are in the fourth semester. They are gonna be graduating after the completion of this semester. And what can be done is a binder can be left on the DE unit, unit that has a hard copy of the syllabus and the course assignments for that course. Just a brief overview of the syllabus. We do teach concept-based curriculum and we condense a lot of information and a lot of um, content over the first nine weeks of the course. And we teach both in the classroom setting and online. And then there's four unit exams that happen over that first nine, 10 weeks of the course. And then the final will happen at the end of the course in week 15. The reason that we condense so much information in the first nine weeks is so that we have time in the course to do simulated clinical experiences that occurs in week 10. And then the students go out and they get their capstone experience, which is very valuable to the students. And we get very positive feedback um, when the students are able to go out, they're assigned to one nurse in a hospital and they get 120 hours of clinical experience in their capstone. You may also hear the students talk about ATI, and this is a resource that we use to help the students prepare for their NCLEX exam. And then assignments are also part of the students' grades throughout the semester. We have um, teaching assignment, we have concept care maps, we have a capstone case study and a delegation paper. The weekly clinical reflective journals are really used to help the patient connect what they've learned in clinical to what they've learned in the classroom or to connect those to the QC competencies to help the student reflect on how they are meeting the end of program outcomes. The concept maps really are utilized to help the students connect the concepts that they're learning in the classroom to what they are seeing with patients in the clinical setting. And with that teaching assignment, we really do want the students in with and interacting with, with patients on the unit and educating those patients and really putting together that individualized care plan and establishing goals for those patients. So I've already touched briefly on the benefits of the DEU model, but first and foremost, we're utilizing the clinical expertise of the hospital nursing staff, right? The hospital staff on that unit, they are the experts. The student and the staff work side by side and students really, really enjoy this. And I've had some positive feedback from DEU nurses as well. Staff become more motivated to seek opportunities for nursing students. And I saw this quite a bit in the DEU. If they knew that the students were learning about perfusion in the classroom, they might look for diagnostic tests that the, that the patients are going for. And I had students go off the floor to observe echocardiograms, but the nurses on the unit were the ones that were seeking out these opportunities for students. It's also been found that it increases staff satisfaction. So if you think um, in your hospital that you have a clinical ladder or nurses want to do more to become leaders within their profession, well, teaching students is a great way to get there. It's not only are they learning to provide education and do student evaluations, but it's something that they can do that helps them feel better about their practice and about the hospital that they work for that is providing them with this opportunity. Students have consistently reported high satisfaction when they are assigned to the DEU unit, more so than when they're assigned to a traditional unit when we compare um, the students in our DEU to those that are in the um, traditional model. We always get positive feedback from our DEU um, students. And the hospital may gain future staff that is very highly motivated. So we have had quite a few students that leave Genesee Community College and they have gone to work for ECMC because they really developed relationships within that hospital and they had such a positive experience there. So I've already briefly touched upon student evaluation, but just to go a little bit more in depth, the role of the ECMC DEU nurse is really to provide feedback 
to the clinical faculty member at how they feel the student is progressing. They can also provide feedback directly to the student each week. So they can let the student know what the student is doing really well and what the student needs to improve upon. And if the DEU nurse is not comfortable providing that feedback at first, that's when they can work with the clinical faculty member at providing that feedback to students each week. As far as the final evaluation, the final evaluation is really based heavily off the cues and competencies, and the clinical faculty member will document how the student has demonstrated meeting these um, outcomes, and the student also has the opportunity to provide some feedback as to how they feel that they've done meeting these outcomes. If you want more information on the DEU, please reach out. I'd be happy to talk to you more about the DEU model. And I just want to thank you for giving us this opportunity to work with you with the DEU. This partnership has really meant a lot to us and to the students in the program. It's very, very highly valued. And we hope to establish more of these designated education units in the future. Thank you so much.